warm up will be a couple laps, you know, two or three laps or so, and then we'll do some uh, dynamic drills, you know, high knees, butt kicks, that sort of thing, loosen up the legs, stretch out if you need to, and then uh, get into the picks, which we really consider part of the warm up. Really right now we're like on the first set of throws, so that's usually when I like have most of my bad problems. We work towards the end of like fixing everything one thing at a time, but the biggest like common thing for me is I have a tendency to plant and kind of break down on my left side. Um, so we're working on trying to like keep my hips and pelvis like under and through and then hit like a clean block with as straight of a line as you can like from your toes to your chest and then the angle will just kind of come. You don't have to worry about anything else. So if you get the stuff right down here then like everything up top kind of just falls into place. So these guys are like our favorite training tool probably because it's a lighter version of the javelin, weighted a little bit different, goes farther, but it's more sensitive. So if you make a mistake, it lets you know just by the way it flies. But then also if you hit it right, it flies really, really clean, goes really far. So, and it puts a lot less stress in your arm. So it's good with like overuse prevention. Yeah, you're asking if I like these. They're already getting tight on my foot. Uh, Maybe my foot's just bigger now. That's probably the case. I probably should check that out. <laughs> Maybe I'm like size bigger. <laughs> that might make sense. It's all of my shoes don't fit me anymore. During the off season, we very rarely throw, you know, far from farther back than just a couple crossovers. So this is you know, one of Liam's first times this season coming from a slightly longer approach. And looked okay. You know, we'll uh, we kind of work into that as the season goes on. You know, it'll probably be you know April or May before we're doing a whole lot of those kind of throws. Really, I mean, if you're trying to get the most distance out of your throws, you should be like, you should have it down to where like you plant, you come through, and then you're like right here, and you're not like sacrificing any space because like my biggest throw, I planted like way far back, and then I didn't like slow down because I had so much space. But really, you're just losing a, a ton of distance that you could get. Whenever you do Olympic lifting movements, you always want to do the most complex movement first and work your way backwards. Because if you work from the most simplistic movement to the complex movement, by the time you get to the complex movement, you're too tired and your, uh, your technique and your form is just, it's gonna, it's gonna be lost. part today when we did the mat slides um, with a little bit of the core stability stuff is for explosiveness and leg power. Uh, we do it off of both legs and we do it off of single legs to make sure that they're not overcompensating when they're using both their legs. So they use their dominant and their weaker leg to push the mat. So as you can see, Liam is a big boy and so for him a lot of core control and kind of just being able to control his body is really important for him. Uh, and his coordination has come a far, far long way. He used to not be able to do any of that stuff that you saw him do today. So that's after about a year and a half of doing that. And again, that's just, um, you know, kind of your mind and body working together. It's a team effort. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So a lot of gymnastics is like body weight oriented um, and a lot of his core and shoulders and uh, in general that's just really really good for javelin. You know we really need uh, some core stability and shoulder stability to prevent injuries in our shoulder. But in general it just gives you some good body awareness because you're using that constant weight for every workout that you do. Um, you become really comfortable with your body, um, really flexible and uh, mobile in, in what you can do. 